Hey guys, it has been so long since I filmed one of these videos. Also, why do I feel like things look weird? I feel like I look like, I don't know. I feel like I look really weird today. I am in the process of um, doing these like character makeups and I feel like this eye look with this top is just kind of giving me really weird vibes and also I don't have any, um, anything on my lips, but just, just bear with me, all right. So um, we're going to get into some more speed reviews today. These have been stressing me out so much. Like I, I need a better system because I just feel like I get really just, I don't know, it just really stresses me out. Let's just go through it. So the first thing that I have here is the P. Louise and Michaela palette. This is the to happen to hold in case you get cold. Now, I have done a full video on this collection. I think this palette is just absolutely stunning. I love these shades. I'm a sucker for a blue and a green. Um, and yeah, I just, blues and greens are my favorite eyeshadows. So obviously a whole blue palette is just whew, so pretty to me. I just think this is so aesthetically pleasing and I do obviously love P. Louise shadows. Um, and yeah, I just, the actual color, the story of this palette is beautiful. The packaging is also beautiful. I have my own personal thoughts on Michaela. Um, so I feel like this collab was a little bit weird to me in that sense, but judging on the actual product itself, I love it. I think this palette is beautiful. I, it's just so pretty, so stunning, <sighs> so aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, I'm really, I thought it performed beautifully. Blues are also quite hard, I feel like, to formulate. Like, I feel like blues are also quite hard to work with at times um but these ones were just beautiful and yeah loved them keeping on the P. Louise and Michaela I tried out some of the lashes I um I only used the frozen flutter ones out of these but I quite liked them I feel like they were quite pretty um and yeah I'm excited to try the rest of them out I do quite like P. Louise lashes um so yeah love them oh god it's been so long now that I can't even remember what I thought of this I think it was pretty I can't really remember. I feel like it's like one of those kind of like iridescent-y shades. Like it, you can see it here. It's like green and pink and stuff like that, which is obviously not for every day, but I feel like it looked quite nice with the eye look that I did on that day. I can't remember. Honestly, this is another thing. I need to keep on my speed reviews because now I can't even remember my thoughts. Um, but it's not for me in the sense of like an everyday type of thing, you know, but it is like pretty and unique and it like obviously fits well with the theme. Like I said, I obviously have an in-depth um, review on this collection if you want to know um, some more like in-depth thoughts. Okay, what else? This Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick. I don't think I liked it and I feel like it doesn't really matter now anyway because Jaclyn Cosmetics isn't a thing anymore. This was in the shade Get Real and I feel like it just might not have suited me. Or maybe I did like... Let me put it on now. Let's do that. No. Okay, it's not for me. Yeah. Um, the shade is just not my shade. I feel like on the hand it looks like a little bit more like brownie. And then on the lips it has like a little bit more like orange or like peach in it. And I feel like this type of colour just does not suit me at all. Um, so yeah, I don't really love that one. I feel like honestly I should declutter it, shouldn't I? Because I feel like... I'm never going to use it, so maybe that'll go in like a, a bit of a declutter. I used some some shades, some shades from um, Glamour Dip. I loved these ones so much. We have this blue one here called Game Over and also this other blue glittery one called Bliss. These shades were so stunning. I can't even remember how the look looked now, but I just know that I really like these. Um, not the look, the nail. What do you even call it? Like... The nail look, the nail design. I don't know. But yeah, I love Glamour Dip and these shades are no, what's the word? No exception. These are beautiful. Really love them, especially this Bliss shade. I just feel like it's so pretty and so cool. Um, and yeah, I really liked this. And I was really pleasantly surprised with the blue on like my actual nails. Like I, because I feel like obviously blue seems like a bit of an out there color, but it actually looked really, really pretty. So yeah, love them. Um, this was the Jealous. Um, well, this is the Jealous shade in Go Bananas. I did like it. Um, I actually quite like this shade. I feel like it takes a little while to build it up. And the polish itself is quite... 
it's so like liquidy and thin and like watery i guess in a sense that it's like it can be quite hard to kind of apply it and then also build it up but the shade itself is stunning so i really want to practice more and use it and like you know kind of figure out how to use it properly i guess in a sense i also use this one called time to Th <laughs> time to shine but time is spelled like you know the herb like t-h-y-m-e I really wanted to like this shade and I really thought I would because it's like a glittery green shade but I don't know it just did not look nice on the nails like it was super see-through um and yeah I mean I feel like it looks stunning but yeah on the nails it just was not a vibe it wasn't for me I also don't know if because I used it with that go banana shade I feel like they clashed a lot so maybe I just need to try it in a different nail look but yeah first impressions I didn't love it used the hideaway pink sugar sugar scrub oh smells incredible and i do love these sugar scrubs from hideaway my critique is the packaging i do not like the packaging i feel like it's just odd um i don't know i just feel like there could be a better way for a scrub but yeah you have to reach your hand in the bag and your hands all wet because you're in the shower and it's just not a vibe i don't know um, but I do actually like the product itself. I feel like it's really nice and I love the scent. Also in that scent, I used one of these body butter oils. I think I actually really liked these. Once again, like I feel like my memory is a little bit foggy, but I feel like I quite liked this. Oh my God. It's obviously oily, but yeah, I feel like it was quite nice. It smells really good too, mate. There's oil over my hands. Why did I do that? But yeah, it feels really nice on the skin. Obviously, it's an oil, so it's not going to sink in. Like, it's going to kind of have that little bit of, you know, bit on, on the skin or whatever. Like, But yeah, I do. I think I do like these. Very hydrating. So we also used the... This is one of the whip soaps in Black Sugar. Oh, this scent is just incredible. It's so funny because um, I just did an empties and I used up one of the Black Sugar sugar scrubs. And now I've got the pink sugar sugar scrub and the black sugar like whip soap. I should have just used those two scents together. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, you live and you learn. I love this so much. Oh, it's just the best smelling scent ever. I think it's meant to be black opium. And yeah, it's just oh, really, really nice. And I love their whip soaps. They're really nice formula. I, this, I don't know what has happened. I'm going to um, give it the benefit of the doubt because of the fact that I, this is old, but this is the weirdest thing ever. This is the Morphe and Sour Patch Kids lip scrub. And first of all, it smells like it used to smell good and it doesn't smell good anymore. Like it still kind of does, but it's got a weird after smell. I don't know if you can see like the consistency of this lip scrub. It's really weird. It has really thick granules in it. Anyway, I put it on my lips and it like, it's like, I don't even, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, like, just odd, like, big lumps of sugar and, like, just not a proper kind of lip scrub formula. I don't know, it's weird. And, yeah, it's, like, thick and, yeah, it has these weird little lumps. And it stained my lips blue and I was scrubbing them for so long and I could not get it off. Like, I don't know what the hell happened. Um... And, like, I feel like even my finger here, you can see that it's got, like, a bit of a blue tinge to it now. Like, I just don't know if this is because it's old or if it's because, like, they just don't know how to make a lip scrub. I don't know what the go is there. But that one is going straight in the bin. I'm not even going to pass that on to anyone else because it was just something's wrong. Something's really wrong. I have another one. It's a the red, the raspberry flavor. So it's going to be interesting to dry that one out. In saying that, I tried to search up, like, reviews for this when it first came out and I saw like one YouTube video on it and like you know the little um like title said like it stained my lips blue and I don't know if that's like a clickbait thing or what but like I didn't watch the video but I'm kind of interested like I kind of want to watch it and see like because obviously that would have been a review from when these were like still in date I guess and it would it'd be interesting to see like if people had the same issues that I'm having now if that makes sense I don't know anyway last thing for this speed review no, it's not. Sorry, I lied. These, I have a couple more things, but anyway, um, these are two polishes from Light Slacker. We have, <laughs> God, I can't say that. We have Dirty Dancing, and this shade was stunning. I think I really, really liked this shade, and I don't think I liked this one very much. I can't remember. Oh, God, this is so annoying. I feel like I would have taken photos of it, so let me find, because I know that I would have done taken like 
And I'm pretty sure I did a full review on these, like, on YouTube anyway. So, but I just want to have a quick look and see. Because I would have taken, like, a photo when I did my nails. And, yeah. yeah, okay, I'm looking at this now and I can't remember. So, this shade just looked weird on my nails. This one is called Volus Vos or something. I don't know. I don't know. And it's, like, it looks really pretty in the in the bottle and it's kind of like this milky pinky shade and it's got like little like reflective glitters and stuff and like it looks so pretty but on my nails it just did not hit like it just didn't look right i don't know it looked odd but i loved these shades so much i think this one is so pretty dirty dancing um so yeah but like i said i've got a full review on these as well on my channel so if you want to like find out my thoughts but yeah this one is so pretty um so, yeah, this one I didn't really love, but this one I thought was so pretty. So, once again, I don't know if maybe, like, if I use it in, like, a different nail look. Is it a nail look? Nail design? I don't know. <laughs> Set? I don't know. If I use it in a different nail, a different time on my nails, it might I might like it better. I like maybe just the certain, like, nail design that I did that day just didn't really hit. I don't know. But... I feel like it was also kind of like see-through on my nails as well, which I don't love. Like, I feel like I don't like to be able to see my natural nail underneath too much because, yeah, I don't know. Last thing for this speed review. This is over a couple of weeks, by the way, as well. This is the Pale Louise Skin Shake Off 2020 Cleanser. This came out at the end of 2022. Sorry, I said Shake Off 2020. Shake Off 2022. Yeah, this came out at the end of that year. Um, and I actually quite like this. It's like a foaming cleanser. And it smells so good. It smells like lemon meringue or something. Like, it's so weird, but, like, smells so incredible. Like, that was just not the scent I was expecting. But I love sweet stuff, so lemon meringue for me is just, like... And that's just the vibes I get from it. But, yeah, I actually quite like this. I feel like it feels really nice and, like, gentle on the face, but still does a nice job of cleaning. So that's nice. I hate using a cleanser and then it feels like my skin is just stripped after it. Um, but, yeah, I really do quite like this. So yeah, that's everything for the speed reviews this time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.